In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the Generate Topology tool under the Graphite Modeling Tools in Polygon Modeling. Um, and why you'd use that is to change, like right now you can see this geometry has a standard you know, grid um, uh, topology here, but you might want to start creating topologies that are um, subdivided a little differently without adding tessellation or, or the subdivision modifier. So you can do that with edit polys and the only way you can access these graphite modeling tools is using an edit poly. So um, you can see I have this little form over here with a plane and then some other uh, modifiers. I'll add an edit poly to this and um, then open up this edit poly. And you can see once you have an edit poly all of these tools become accessible. If you need to maximize this toolbar you can just hit that button there. If you don't see this toolbar you need to make sure that this ribbon here is highlighted so this little button here. Okay so once you have your edit poly um, if you go to modeling, the modeling tab and then this drop down polygon modeling there's a tool uh, or an icon that says generate topology so if you select that you get this little menu of different topology op options. Um, if you hover over these, it'll tell you, like some of these, for example, um, if you hover over a brick here, tells you that you need to have one edge selected for this to work. Um, so, for example, if I select this one and select an edge, or actually select the edge first, and then select one of the edges, and then hit that button, it'll change the topology into this kind of uh, grid structure. It's always good to do this in a separate edit poly, so you can turn that on and off if, you're, if you don't want it. Um, you can also go to edit undo. So if we just look at a few of these, a few of these, you know, the wall one will subdivide it in this way. Um, the hexagon will create hexagons out of everything. Uh, you can also, you know, make a, a diagrid on the surface. And so all of these, you know, are just different ways of generating topology. Um, this might be useful if you want to, you know, start using the edit poly features like extrude to create differentiation in the surface. Or, for example, if you add another turbo smooth on the top of this, you notice it'll change the way that it smooths that surface. So if you, um, you know, increase the iterations a little bit, you can actually start to, uh, if you go back into the edit poly and select some of these polygons, you can get some pretty interesting uh, surface um, patterns. So for example, I might select this one and hit loop. You can see it'll actually create this pretty interesting surface pattern. Maybe I'll hit a few more of them. Uh, loop, and then maybe one more. Oop, too, too much. Um, but if I want to create this kind of asymmetrical pattern, I can then you know, detach that surface and um, then have two different surfaces. You know, I can make a, this a different color, for example. Um, so that the topology, the surface pattern, starts to relate to the topology of the surface, which is no longer as uniform as it was as a grid.